Hey, Saturday morning, uh, first official day of National Moth Week. I'm putting down my coffee cup, and as promised, I'm going to go back and check these hamper traps and see what we've got in them. There should be some moths. But before I do, I want to point out that I bring my little baggie full of little containers and lids with me whenever I go check the traps. And uh, and I uh, this is filled with a, uh, a containers of two sizes. This one works for about 95% of the moths that I see. This one for the other 4%. Uh, and then for the really large moths, like some of the large slakes moths and silk moths, I'll use Tupperware. So I have these containers ready. What I do is uh, I take the moths gently out of the trap. They're very fragile creatures. And I put them in individual containers like this. Here's a moth in an individual container. And then I put them in this Tupperware and I put a little uh, ice pack on top to keep them cool. And then these will be refrigerated. I like to photograph in natural light. So uh, I'll, when the light gets a little bit better, I'll photograph these moths and then release them. All moths that I catch are photographed and released. But not all moths are photographed. So let's go over here to the hamper trap. Remember last night we looked at one that had a dog collar on it? And this is the one that uh, that was underneath the bug zapper. We'll get to the bug zapper in another uh, show here. But I'll take the collar off and now I'll set the trap here in front of me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these egg trays out of the trap and uh, just show them to you. I'll just flip them. Okay, here's one. Here's another. Here's another. Here's another. And the last one for this trap here. And then uh, I'm going to lift up the trap and point it at you. And you can see there are moths that are clinging to the sides of the inside of the trap. This was not a particularly good night for moths. The temperature when I woke this morning at about 6 was uh, 54 degrees. So uh, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to look through these moths that I have here in these egg trays, identify which ones I would like to photograph, I'll put them in these little pots, as they say in Britain, and I'll uh, put them in a little Tupperware container like this, and then I'll refrigerate them. When light gets a little bit better, I'll photograph, and I'll show you how I do that. Okay? That's it for now.